mean, I'm happy it happened to me. Um, yeah, excited. In that, that it's life changing, it's also an opportunity. Are you What's taking up? it as that as well? Yes, sir. And how's that been the the challenge or the you know you stepping into this opportunity you've been given? Um, I'm just here to work. Um, I'm happy they, they picked me. I'm just here to come and work and speak. It's like after your high school coach, uh, so Starkey had uh, Dodge City and he said that you were so violent on the field, so physical. Where does that come from? Is it coming all from having so many siblings and maybe you had to um, fight, <laughs> fight for a little bit, A little bit. We always play backyard football, so I just felt that's what I really came from. Okay. How many siblings do you have? Well, I've got four brothers and one sister. Older brother? i got two older brothers and younger. Were they tough on you? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, not no more. <laughs> What's your reaction to having a teammate draft a couple of rounds after you? Uh, he called me. It was exciting because I mean, Cody get along with him. It's it, it exciting. That kind of helped make the process a little smoother when you got a guy here. Oh uh, yeah, you just have somebody to talk to. You know, you don't gotta be quiet all the time. Where that's time. Any extra motivation having Troy out there too? Yeah. Wait, like, I even know Troy is here too. So I'm like, okay. Then we have um, a lineman. Low. A lot of people say you're a man of few words, you don't talk that much. Why is that? What's that kind of thing? That's just me. <laughs> yeah. Not much to say? Not much to say. Marquise, a lot of people, you know, just talk about how, you know, how hard of a hitter you are, how physical you are in the defensive backfield. I guess, where do you think that comes from? Where does that mentality come from for you? Um, I just rather be me. I mean, rather be you than me, you know? Um, yeah. How similar is, uh, I know it's just one practice out there, but the way they used you to how you were using you. Well, it's kind of the same thing. We all go to strong safety, free safety. It's just more. It's just more to learn faster than football. Like, so. Do you know Ugo at all, being a fellow Pac-12 guy, or what? Ugo Madi? Did you know him at all? Being uh, a I heard of him. Guy? I heard. I, I saw him play. Okay. What else can you tell us about Cody and the type of uh, player he was for the Utah defense? Um, Cody's our leader. Um, he's a vocal. Cody gets everybody lined up. He's the one talking. About. What do, you, what do you think allowed him to make the jump that he did last year for you guys down at Utah where he really came on and became the player that he was? Um, he just knew everything. He just knew the defense from, from, from everybody, linemen, corner, safeties. And I feel like that just helped. With your style of play, is there a player that you looked up to or wanted to model your game after? Um, no, I just uh, when I was little, I just watched highlights a lot. Of who? Just, just hard hitting highlights. Every, anybody, I just turn around YouTube. So it's sort of like the hip, you hit practice like this in shorts? No. Um, not really. Not when I first get here, because I, I want to learn. So I want to learn first. When you watch the highlights, was any anyone you like? Ooh, I want to be. I know you're trying not to say. Was anybody right. that? Um, no, nah, I just want to be like all of them. They all in the NFL. So. <laughs> <laughs> no Lawrence Taylor, did he like that? No, sir. Okay. You had a couple of projections. Uh, is there anything you have to learn or do differently now that you're at this level at all? Or? Yeah, I just got low my target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get to Utah? Uh, I went to Dodge City Community College in Kansas. You know, Coach Kelly came out of the crew. What'd, so like, what'd you like about Utah? Oh, <laughs> uh, just a defense scheme. How they played their safety, they did everything.